All right, what's up? I'm Charm City 187. Yo, this is my wild card weekend recap. Uh, in my picks, I was one and three. I did, I did absolutely fucking horrible. Um, Indianapolis obviously beat the Chiefs 45 to 44. I picked the Chiefs like a dumbass, thinking, all right, the Chiefs have, well, they're supposed to have a top five defense. And Alex Smith had been putting up 30 plus points every game, so you would think, hey, 30, uh, top five defense, 30 some points, is going to be enough to win the game. But the defense gave up halfway through the game. They didn't even come back out of the locker room the second half. They stayed in the locker room. They thought the game was over, and they ended up giving it up. Andrew Luck had 440-some uh, passing yards. The thing I really think hurt the Chiefs, well, one thing that hurt them was Jamal Charles. They, they weren't using up much clock, especially in the second half when they needed to start burning clock. Uh, Niles Davis only had 60-some yards rushing. I, I think if Jamal Charles wouldn't have gotten hurt on the third play of the game, it probably would have been a lot different game. He would have been able to probably use a lot of clock in that second half for rushing the ball, but they just couldn't get started. Uh, Andy Reid does what Andy Reid does in the playoffs. He, he loses. That, that's that's why they ran him out of Philadelphia because he, he don't know how to coach in the playoffs. He wasted three t all three second half timeouts Andy Reid wasted. Just use them as like a condiment on a fucking uh, pulled pork sandwich. Just ate them right up. And in the end, when he needed them, he didn't have them. And it cost them. Uh, another play that cost them was uh, Alex Smith had a... Uh, who was it? I want to say McCluster running wide open down the right sideline. It would have been like a 40-some yard touchdown pass, but he overthrew him just a little bit. And came up, came back, ended up biting him in the ass. The Chiefs defense gave up, and Andy Reid did what he does in the playoffs. He lost. I mean, there ain't nothing else about it. And, yo, I, I hate this. I'm going to rest my starters week 17. It, it's not... Every time a team does, every time a team does that, they come out and straight up fucking lose, and that's what the, that's what happened again. Rest of the starters, they came out and lost. And the way I see that shit is, like when I when I was little and I and I played baseball, basketball, football, everything. After the game, my mom or my grandmother or my grandfather or whoever took me to the game was more tired than I was actually playing the game, I don't know if it's because of anxiety or stress or what, but whoever took me to the game was more tired after the game than I was after playing the whole fucking game. So, I, I really don't believe in resting starters. Um, I also got New Orleans, Philadelphia wrong. I mean, The re I already said this in my other video, but the reason why I took Philadelphia was because they were playing at home, and it was going to be cold, so I didn't think the Saints were going to be able to do too much. Plus, I, I, I was thinking too far ahead. I was thinking, all right, the Eagles are 7-1 and one on the road, but I forgot that they were only like 3-5 and five or... Uh, three and five or two and six at home so I completely forgot that they cannot play at home and they ended up losing 26 to 24 and Drew Drew Brees didn't even have too good of a game he only had 250 yards passing but the Saints defense shut LaShawn McCoy down and Nick Foles didn't do pretty much anything Riley Cooper dropped one pass which probably if he catches that pass they probably win the game but there was there was other shit that happened in the game too that fucked them. Um, the one game I did get right was San Diego Cincinnati. I just knew, Cincinnati. Andy Dalton, man. The f fire crotch, red rocket, whatever the fuck you want to call him, you know. He he's horrible. He, anytime it's clutch time, Andy Dalton comes out and 
pukes everywhere. You know, he, he's not good in clutch. He's not good in clutch situations. Definitely not good in the playoffs. He's lost. I think he's been to the playoffs three times. He's lost all three games. Or this might be the fourth. I think he was 0-3 before today, so now he's probably 0-4. Um, yeah, they haven't won a playoff game since 1990, so... I feel bad for Marvin Lewis, too, yo, because he's a great coach, and he's probably going to end up being fired. But Mar Mar for me, Marvin Lewis is more of a uh, coordinator than he is a head coach. And that's what he was in Baltimore. And he had one of the greatest, best teams around ever in 2000 when he was here. So... Um, and then San Francisco at Green Bay. I obviously took Green Bay. And I saw this on Friday night on Playbook. LaDainian Tomlinson said, whoever you see standing in front of them big-ass heaters, like the blowtorch heaters, you do not want them on the field. And every time they showed it, Aaron Rodgers and uh, the offensive line were standing in front of the heater while um, Colin Kaepernick and... Everybody from the 49ers was just sitting on the bench like it was a normal day. So once I saw that, I was like, damn. But uh, the, the the Packers could not get anything started whatsoever in the first half. Well, until like halfway through the second quarter. I think they had like four or six yards in total offense halfway through the second quarter. Um, yeah, their defense... For as bad as they are, they actually did pretty good containing the 49ers, which is why I don't think the 49ers are going to go too far. Because if you look at every other game this year Green Bay has played, they've been giving up 40, well over 35 points at almost every single game. So, I mean, if all is San Francisco was could muster was 23 points on that shitty ass defense, they're in trouble. So, but yeah. It's so my recap. I was one and three. I don't even know what the fuck my brother went, but I'll see y'all on like Tuesday or Wednesday when we do our uh, divisional round picks, and I'm out. Peace.